Hello everyone, welcome back. If you saw my last video, you know we built a simple AI voice agent using the real-time API and Twilio's Node.js repository. Today, I'm excited to show you how I've taken things a step further. We have a time slot available at 8 a.m. Would this time work for your booking? By adding the ability to screen for availability before we make appointments, I've now been able to offer a much more dynamic scheduling assistant that is going to be a game changer. Just as a quick refresher, in the last video, I set up an AI voice agent that could schedule appointments into my Google Calendar utilizing the real-time API and Twilio's Node.js repository, allowing us to stream responses over the phone into OpenAI's WebSocket. And in that video, we also went through the basics of both inbound and outbound calling using this framework. Again, showing on the inbound side how to create a simple function that enabled making bookings into my Google Calendar. If you haven't seen that video, I recommend checking it out before this video as it lays the foundation of what I'm building upon. Let's dive in. Now let's talk about today's upgrade, adding availability screening. This means that our AI agent can now check if a time slot is open before actually making that appointment in our Google Calendar. This prevents blindly just adding new events to our calendar even if there's existing time slots, which prevents double booking and ensuring that we're only scheduling events where it actually makes sense. I'll jump into a quick demo of a full conversation with the newly added feature, and then we'll dive into a bit behind the scenes of the new function and how it works. You'll see off the bat, we've screened immediately for the times we are available. If we just open a new terminal here and start up our HTTP tunnel. Talk AI, Emily speaking. How can I help you today? Hey, can I make a booking please? Absolutely. Could you please provide me with the date and time you'd like to book and your email address? Uh, the 18th of October, what available times do you have then? For our October 18th, 2024, we have a time slot available at 8 a.m. Would this time work for your booking? If so, please provide your email address to confirm the booking. Yeah, that would work. The email address is john.doe at gmail.com. Great, your booking has been successfully created for October 18th, 2024 at 8 a.m. You should receive a confirmation email shortly. Is there anything else I can help you with? That's all, thank you, bye. So as you can see, it checked the availability. Now there was not many busy blocks on that day, so it returned one, uh, but if I go to my calendar, you'll see, 8 a.m. new booking, john.do at gmail.com, perfect. Now, if I were to call again, and let's ask for a specific time tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. to see if it is aware there's a busy block there and suggest a different time slot. Hi there, how can I help you today? I'd like to make a booking, please. Sure thing. Can you please provide me with the date and time you'd like to book and your email address? Let's get this set up for you. Uh, do you have availability the 18th of October at 11.30 a.m.? I have checked the availability and we have a slot open on October 18th at 8.30 a.m. Unfortunately, the 11.30 a.m. slot is not available. Would you like to book the 8.30 a.m. slot? Or is there another time that works better for you? Uh, 8.30 is fine, let's book that in. Great, could I have your email address to complete the booking for 8.30 a.m. on October 18th? john.do at gmail.com 
your booking for 8.30 a.m. on October 18th has been successfully created. Beautiful. As you can see, uh, we asked for 11.30 a.m. Wasn't available, so it suggested the next best time slot at 8.30 a.m. I have my availability set from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. I have it set so it suggests three time slots, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one on a different day, and you'll see that in a sec, but perfect. This works nicely, so I'm pretty thrilled about this. We'll now jump into behind the scenes of how this is actually operating, and we'll go from there. So to explain a bit more in detail how this check availability function works, it's much the same as our Create Google Calendar in terms of loading our service account and authenticating our Google account and starting a calendar instance. If we move down into the actual logic behind suggesting availabilities, we first have to define the time range for checking availability. Here we set the minimum time to today's date, so from now, and the maximum time seven days from current. Down here, using the Google Calendar free busy query, we check in the primary calendar within that specified time range. This returns a list of busy events within that time range, so within the week. Now, this is where the magic happens. So this is where we actually create a helper function um, to analyze the busy times and find gaps within our schedule that fit within our business hours. Um, we don't want availability slots to be suggested at 2 a.m. or 11 p.m. We want it to be in between actual availability on the day so between 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. So it searches through the list of our busy periods and if it finds gaps that meet that criteria, it'll return it as an available slot. Now, we don't want it to just suggest one slot. Um, we want to return a range of different slots that the user can pick. For this, I wanted three slots, which are converted into ISO Australian time to make it easier to book the appointment. So rather quite simple here, and it returns an array of our available start times, um, three of them, to which the user can select. Putting that all together, we first have to create a new session update tool or our agent tool, which is located here. So retrieve available time slots, required date. On the WebSocket side, we do the same as we did last video, where if response type is function call, we grab the arguments, which will be the available time slots, suggest it to the user. The user is gonna pick one, and it's gonna use that argument to book the appointment, similar to what we did last video. So quite straightforward on face value, but this took some time to get right, and there's definitely room for more improvement, and that's what I am planning to do with this agent sort of build it from the ground up to be an elite inbound agent that can book appointments effectively. Now, while this feature adds a lot of value to our booking assistant, there's a few considerations here. And the first one here is this is only interacting with Google Calendar at the moment. The logic and API requests is gonna differ from application to application. So in that sense, we, we start to get limited the more we build out this specific to Google Calendar. So that might be a consideration when approaching something like this. Additionally, depending how complex your calendar actually is, so whether it has recurring events and things like that, we may have to customize this further to handle those recurring events and buffer times and things like that. But overall, this is turning out to be really strong. Uh, you'll notice in terms of latency and the naturalness of the conversation, it's sounding quite good. Another point to consider is I'm yet to handle interruptions agent side. So if I were to interrupt the agent mid sentence, it's not going to acknowledge that, and that's something I'm going to create in the future. Additionally, we need to start logging the transcripts also, and then sending them to a CRM of sorts when a calendar event is created for that user. So these are some things I am going to be working upon, and 
really refining this agent to include all those additional functionalities to make this a real production ready agent. But already this has been fun and I'll continue to be working on this throughout the weeks. So whether that be next week or the week after to give a part three of this video. As for today, I hope this gives you a solid starting point for now adding availability screening for an real-time API appointment setup. Last video, I mentioned that Vapi was implementing real-time API and I was hoping that they would do this sometime this week, but unfortunately it's been delayed to the latest end of November. So stick with me to jump on that when it does get released. In the meantime, I'll continue making cool agents like the one you've seen today. And I may explore the new OpenAI swarms as well and start to pull together different agents for different purposes. So if that sounds good, let me know in the comments. And as always, I would love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment if you have any questions regarding this assistant or if you've tried building something similar over these past few weeks since the real-time API has been out. Don't forget to like this video if you found it useful. If you're looking to stay ahead of the AI curve, also don't forget to subscribe. I upload weekly, but that's it for today. Until next week.